This video is an overview of the APS Jet Upset Simulator Instructor Program. My name is Paul B.J. Ransbury. I'm the President of Aviation Performance Solutions. This program that we're going to review in this video addresses the Airplane Upset Recovery Training Aid Revision 2 in Aviation Circulars AC-120-109 and AC-61-138 to assist instructors in learning the skills and knowledge and instructional capability to develop programs to meet the needs of those resources. In this presentation, we're going to talk briefly about the statistical threat, address our target market and regulatory compliance, take a look at the program's footprint and available resources, details on our iPad and how it integrates into the program, then walk away expectations for clients participating in the course to see what they'll be able to take home with them to their training department or their organization. And finally, we'll conclude with a short discussion on why selecting EPS is a good decision. The loss of control in flight threat has been the leading cause of fatalities and hull losses for many decades. In this chart issued by Boeing in July of 2012, we can see the period of 2002 through 2011 where we can see that loss of control in flight on the far left side of the course is by far the leading cause of fatalities and hull losses. In combination with system component failure non-power plant, a loss control related item, these two combine to comprise approximately 40% of all fatalities in the worldwide commercial jet fleet. Our target markets with this instructor program is assist instructors with meeting the requirements of Public Law 111.216, Section 208A, specifically related to improved stall and upset recovery training for Part 121 air carriers. Additionally, the program will assist instructors in complying with the Airplane Upset Recovery Training Aid Revision 2 delivery. FAA Circular 12109 to provide stall and stick pusher training, Aviation Circular 61138 for airline transport pilot certification training program providers, and also addresses the requirements of 61156, a new FAA regulation related to training requirements for the transport category category. This particular course for instructors is targeted to transport category instructors in particular, whether they be in airline training departments, airline pilot training centers, or providers of ATP certification programs. This is also appropriate for large corporate flight departments that wish to create their own capability to deliver competent, capable, and effective upset prevention, recovery training, and stall training. Here's an overview of the instructor program and its footprint during the training process. Preparatory training starts with an iPad application specifically designed to prepare pilots for stall and upset prevention recovery training in accordance with existing resources and guidance available in the industry. We'll talk more about the iPad shortly. As part of the preparatory study, participating instructors will receive a training manual that will help them organize their training and their study patterns to get the most effective result from participating in the program. An integral part of the program is the on-aircraft upset prevention recovery training. This is a critical aspect to provide instructors with real-world upset recovery experience to be able to relate that information and those aspects of on-aircraft real training that can't be readily communicated or demonstrated in the simulator. In addition to the on-aircraft training manual and iPad resource, APS has created a very comprehensive online training academy for participating instructors. This will be used both before and during and after the training program. With appropriate training complete and ready for practical training in the simulator, Participating instructors will learn how to teach each maneuver, perform each maneuver, and ultimately be assessed by APS experts on their ability to impart knowledge to students and acting as the instructor. At the end of the program, the pilot will have a very clear understanding of how the iPad technology and integration is a valuable resource not only to them as an instructor, but also to the pilots that they are teaching. This program at APS takes approximately 3.5 to 5 days of on-site practical training to accomplish. The 3.5 day program is what we would consider the minimum amount of time to comfortably complete the program. Many operators may prefer four to five days to have more time to be immersed in the program, longer access to APS experts, or simply stretch out the program so it's more comfortable on the demand of the participating instructor on a day-to-day -day basis. In addition to the on-site practical training, instructors can expect two to five days of full-time training preparing for this particular course. This is common. The better prepared the instructor is for training, the more effective they're going to be during the practical training, which means they're going to be more effective at returning back to the organization to create their own type-specific or organization-specific stall and upset prevention and recovery training program for their clients. 
The iPad development is important to this particular aspect of training. It is a go-to resource that is primarily created around the Airplane Upset Recovery Training Aid, Revision 2. If we look at the iPad application modules 1 through 8 are specifically on the subject matter of the Airplane Upset Recovery Training Aid. This information, the teachings and lessons are not altered by APS in any way. However, we do enhance the content with improved images and charts and also animations of more difficult concepts and appropriate inserts of video to help the participating instructors and pilots understand the content. Module 8 is the sample program of the Airplane Upset Recovery Training Aid and it will be part of the instruction that the instructors are, learn how, are learning how to teach while they're at the program at APS. The iPad also has other features. A flight department, a training center, or even an individual group of instructors can modify their particular application which is customized to them to include information that is unique to their airline or their training center or their flight department. This can be customized either in text, video, animation, pretty much any type of a format that the airline or training center or instructor wants to provide to their clients. What we do though is ensure that the customized section does not mix with the industry approved section related to the airplane upset recovery training aid. In addition, there are other features available. Loss of control accident reviews are available in the streaming video section. And the streaming video section brings up an important topic. This entire application is web disconnected except for one module, which means the entire section on the airplane upset recovery training aid, the sample program, and the customized aspects of the module for the airline or training center can all be studied without an internet connection, which will really help them prepare if they're not located near a Wi-Fi or a data connection, whether they're traveling or whatever the case might be. When they reconnect back to the Wi-Fi connection or any type of a data connection, then their progress and their results, each module has an exam associated with it, can be reported back to the server. The reason why I say can be is because for liability reasons, we understand that some airlines and some training centers may not want, or want to monitor the progress and the results of their pilots. However, if the airline or the training center or the instructor does want to monitor the progress, then this can be part of the customized setup of the application. The streaming video section includes, as I mentioned before, loss of control accident reviews, expanded video training, all the videos of the airplane upset recovery training aid, for example. Relevant aviation circulars are also available in the application through resources at the bottom, and those particular circulars will be evolved and updated over time. This can be a standalone application for an airline's group of pilots. It can also be designed specifically for instructors. It's very dynamic and can be customizable to meet the need of the client. Also, it can be branded so that the client owns the application, not only actually, but also visually, with labeling such as coloring and logos and some formatting can be addressed in the form formal customization of the program for the client. So what are the walkaway expectations of the client? First and foremost, I want to emphasize that this instructor training program is very broad and addresses a wide variety of topics to allow the participating instructor to go back and create a program that may be uniquely required to accomplish the needs of the airplane upset recovery training aid, aviation circular recommendation, or FAA regulations or National Aviation Authority recommendations. The intent of this course is to be a training program to give the instructor a dynamic capability to respond to a need of creating stall and upset prevention recovery training programs to current and evolving requirements in the industry. So in essence, this course represents a critical path to developing an instructor's own ability to generate type-specific stall and upset prevention recovery training. It is powered by two decades of APS expertise in this exact domain of training. We augment instructional technique, lecturing ability, and briefing skills over the course of just a few days. Included are all the exercises of the Airplane Upset Recovery Training Aid and handling exercises and characteristics included in that particular document. Also recommended training and processes indicated in Aviation Circulars, Correction Advisory Circulars, ACs 120, 109, and 61, 138. Participating instructors are exposed to those requirements as well. It is important to recognize that the participating instructors, their training does not stop when they leave the program. They will have ongoing access to technology, human, and practical resources to help them make the transition from apprentice to master, which takes time. Aviation Performance Solutions has been in the business of providing stall, upset prevention, and recovery training for 17 years. 
We have trained more professional jet pilots in fully comprehensive upset prevention recovery training than any other training provider. Currently at this video recording, we have three locations internationally located. At the Arizona location alone, we now train over a thousand professional pilots a year. We only use the industry's most advanced resources, level D full flight simulators, real high performance piston and jet aerobatic capable airplanes. We integrate web-based, online and tablet-based academic technology solutions to provide a variety of mitigations. We're also the proud provider of the Bombardier Leading Edge program. We're a part 141 flight school. Our market has always addressed airlines, manufacturers, corporate flight departments, government agencies, flight schools and individual private pilots. I'd like to thank you for your time you've taken to listen to this particular overview of this instructor program at APS. If you'd like more information, please contact us at the numbers listed on the screen, or you can visit us online at APSTraining.com slash for more information. Thank you.